Afghan judges free three jailed for torture of child bride Sarah Ghoul. Three freed despite imprisoning, starving, and burning girl sold into marriage as new laws could prevent relatives from testifying against each other. Court ruled there was not enough evidence to support the sentence of the family who tortured Ghoul as a child bride. When a teenager, Sarah Ghoul was found chained in a dank basement at her in-laws, so starved she could not walk, missing fingernails and covered with burns from electric wires. Afghanistan was appalled. I'm sure they were. The torture began shortly after her brother sold her to the family for an underage wedding. When she balked at the family's efforts to force her into prostitution. To force her into prostitution. Her new husband <clears throat> did not participate in the abuse. Nor did he try to stop his father, mother, and sister. She was sold as a wife when she was an illiterate 12 year old and her in-laws wasted no time embarking on a campaign of almost unimaginable torture. They starved her, chained her in a basement bathroom, beat her, burned her with red hot metal pipes and pulled out her fingernails. What the fuck? Fucking fuck! By the end of her ordeal, she was so weak she had to be rescued from her makeshift prison in a wheelbarrow. You want to see what they did to her? Selling a woman into prostitution after buying her and forcing her into a marriage. Where the fuck have I heard that before? It couldn't have been in any kind of religious text. Because religion is a force for good in the world, right? And this happened in good old Afghanistan. Where 86% of the women are illiterate. Illiterate. I'm pretty sure you all remember Malala Yousafzai, right? They tried to fucking kill her for trying to educate women. For fighting for rights for women. And for being educated herself. The religious madman said, she gotta die. Ain't no fucking way we're gonna have some women get educated up in here. And this poor girl was illiterate herself. There are gonna be apologists that say stupid shit like, Andre, come on. This is the only part of the fucking world where this happens. There's child brides everywhere. Like I said in another fucking video, the same shit doesn't happen in the same part of the fucking world where it's dominated by the same fucking religion. And the sh it, there's, got, there's a fucking pattern here, people. Come the fuck on. Stop being politically correct. And they say to stop things like this, we need education. They won't fucking let them be education. Are you fucking listening? This goes beyond education, people. We need to start attacking shit like this from the fucking source. And we all know what that source is. But we're not gonna do that. We're never gonna fucking do that. Shit like this is gonna continue to happen because we know that there is a fucking problem. We know that there, we know what the problem is. But we just don't want to fucking deal with it. And I'm going to sound like the biggest piece of shit in the world right now. But when something like this happens, I just want to say, good. This is what you get, humanity, for letting religion survive into the fucking 21st century. This is what you get for not getting rid of this shit a long time ago. That's what a part of me wants to say. And the other part of me wants to just 
let me stop. Let me stop before I say something that's going to get me raided by the fucking FBI.